it's Annabelle Stevenson and you're watching New Year. So how does it feel to be here at the premiere? It's really exciting. It's been a long time coming. I've just seen like the evolution of this film from day one to now and it's uh, just really good to have all these wonderful people around us. That, yeah. So what drew you to the project? What drew you to this? Well, to be honest, it's a really wonderful story driven by a female um, and that is very important to me. Um, it also addresses um, something that's really important right now, the environment and, and um, human rights and something that's actually happening right under our doorsteps that we are not necessarily aware of. And those are the stories that are, that are important to me, that it's a message that's to be brought out as opposed to just a lot of you know, gunslinging and <laughs> although I'm not opposed, this this film has the drama, has the heartfelt family um, sort of complexities and um, grief and it's just a really complex story and that's what, what drew me to it. Yeah. And you're the lead so tell me about your character and how you get involved with these events. Well I play Emma Gardner, she's a journalist in New York living the high life, you know, doing all the fashion editorial and there's something within her that's sort of really itching. Um, her father dies and she lives is from a farm town and goes back and finds that there's something not so right with what, what, what happened around his death and um, suspecting a murder and it basically from her investigative background, a journalist background, she really starts to delve deep and, and, and things start to unfold that become darker than she had anticipated. Yeah. Now what do you think audiences are going to love about the film? I think the suspense, the um, intimacy, there's a bit of love thrown in there as well. So you know. <laughs> They got a little bit of everything to reel them in. A little bit of sprinkling of everything. Yeah. That um, yeah, but mostly I just I, I think that it's a really powerful message, and uh, you come away just feeling really good and you know informed, and it's just a good fun time basically. So <laughs> sounds like it's going to be great. Now we focus a lot on health at New You. Do you have a piece of health advice that you would give your young fans, your younger self? Yeah, I think it's. Um, I'm in a very tough industry and I've faced my own battles quite a lot and um, it's a constant journey and to be honest I think the most important thing is just to be kind to yourself and that's where the journey starts because if you're not kind to yourself then there's no way in, in that you're going to be healthy so that's that's my main part of start advice. With that mindset. Start with that mindset and everything will unfold from there. I love that. And now on the beauty end of it, I have to ask you about your lipstick. I love it. It's very it's, it's not the stained anyway. No, it looks <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> so tell me, Darkness, is that a beauty trend you're loving right now? Are there other beauty trends you're loving right now? Um I just kind of went for a more natural thing, but because I'm wearing white, I just wanted to contrast it. I like a bit of spunk and just try to make something a little bit different to contrast and um, I know it's going into summer so dark lips are probably the antithesis of what's really going on but that doesn't really bother me whatever I'm comfortable in that's what I'm gonna wear and I think that's what everyone should do do you have a favorite makeup style usually is it more natural natural a little bit of wing you know a little bit of wing but otherwise just whatever I'm feeling it could change day to day yeah